and stuff. That's going to be a bit too bright. Yeah, yeah but I'm bright. bright. You know me already. I had picked, you know, Olivia and Tiffany to come out of me on my prize. I really like Tiffany and I'm really close to Olivia. <laughs> I'm looking forward to night out. I can't wait. I haven't been out yet. No one's chosen me on their prizes to go out. The real no Welcome to Hobson Pony. I'm Jerry, the owner here. I'm going to be showing you how to make some cocktails. I designed a cocktail called Deaverish. I put in strawberries. Got vodka. I thought you were going to say that. Some other strong drink that I don't know what the hell it was, but it hurt my head. It would have been nice if all of us could have gone out together, but actually it was nice to have some quiet time in the house. So you've been really quiet since the last elimination. It's because of what Julian said, isn't it? Charlotte's really down about, like, Julian's comments from the previous elimination about her weight. My criticism with you is you need to be slightly thinner, not much. It's just you're very round and curvaceous. Yeah, I've got a bit of a round backside. I don't care. I don't want to be a size four. Do you know what? And he stood there and said, telling me that I'm too fat. I didn't even want to talk about it. No. I think. A lot of the girls do feel that Charlotte has put on a few pounds and perhaps Julian has picked up on this. Well, only I said, come on, why should she be a plus-size model? I'm not being funny. I'm not being funny. Is that right? Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, that is rude. Because he's singled me out out of the six of us, I now feel like the biggest one here. I feel like I look big. I guess I've never really had an issue with my weight as such and the way I look. And I take things to heart anyway. I'm a pretty sensitive person. I'm hugely sensitive, actually. I'm not the biggest girl left. I, I didn't really like that comment because it does infer that other girls are bigger than her. So now Amelia's going to me, oh my god, I feel like I'm the biggest one now. I don't think she's taken the criticism gracefully. But if that's her way of de with dealing with it, then, you know, so be it. Jesus Christ, just buff you. Shut up. Email, girls, email! Girls, we've seen how you perform in front of the cameras, but a top model also needs character and personality. I want to find out more about the real you. Love, L. Kiss, kiss, two kisses. Ooh. Oh my gosh, do you think it's one on ones? Or well, maybe we'll meet in the judges, the other judges, and they'll feel they'll yeah, back to her. It's quite daunting, actually, thinking if we do have one-on-ones with her, that, she, I don't know, she might not like us, if that makes sense. It would be a great opportunity for her to see the real Alicia, because there's a lot to me. For the main judge to walk in and just be like, Oh my god. I was the first per person that had to speak to Al. And I was really nervous about it before I even saw her. I don't know why. Because you know what I see in you is that since we cut your hair, and I know there was all that drama about having your hair cut, best thing we ever did, because I promise you, you wouldn't be here sitting with me today if we hadn't cut it. it I've gotten used to a lot more. Yeah. Now I'm like playing with it and stuff. Yeah. I feel better. I, I think it needs, it feels like it needs another cut. I know you just like because it. it's just long, right? <laughs> I'm not not happy about that at all, not at all. And I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know. I'm sorry, I'm feeling a bit nervous. No, don't be nervous. Why? What? What? Why are you feeling nervous? Because I can't believe I'm sat in front of you. No. <laughs> I feel like such an idiot for crying. But the whole situation was so overwhelming. I've wanted to be here for so long. And it was all like happy league, I couldn't believe it. It was like happy days, not sad days. I don't know, I just went into a weird state like I always do on certain things. You look all nervous. <laughs> as as per usual. You're doing, sit down, relax. Like I was like half fine and then I sat down and I was just like staring at <laughs> for ages. Like, it was nice to talk to a one-on-one -on -one for once, but I still didn't really get 
what I'm actually like across to her because I couldn't, couldn't actually speak properly. You're so beautiful and when you walk into a room, people stop. Be more free when you work. Yeah. Yeah. More free-spirited. Not so scared. The opportunity to talk to her on a one-to-one -one basis was really overwhelming and I was just so thankful for it. This competition is doing a lot of good for me, I think. Yeah. It's, um... It's made me see that I can actually do something and stick it out for long enough. I think I started this competition, I was thinking that I was the underdog. I think being in the bottom two the second week gave me the kick up my bum that I deserve because I think I was just, wasn't taking it as seriously as the rest of the girls. Oh, whenever I go to elimination, the girls always say, you know, I don't like the way you stand, I don't like the way you do this, and I felt she's penalising me because she's never that horrible to the other girls. She wasn't horrible to me, but she was picking at me every time. And I was thinking, oh, she's got me all wrong. You're here because I want you here. Yes. We as a team think that you have what it takes to be here. So I was happy I had the opportunity to talk to her because I think she got a taste of what I was like. I managed to sit down and say hello. How are you feeling? <sighs> I'm much more relaxed when I'm sat here, actually. Yeah. Al McPherson sat on a sofa next to you. That's pretty cool. But then I was just so overwhelmed. But How are you feeling? I'm really, I'm really enjoying it. Don't laugh every time you. I know because you think I'm laughing. I'm fine. No, because I'm, um, it's just it's important to go with the feeling that you're having and don't try to cover it up with a laugh because you do that all the time. I feel like this is like my last. My last, <laughs> my last chance to like actually go for it, but because I, I kind of feel like I'm just too old. Most of the time. How do you think I feel? I'm 46. <laughs> you started when you were young. I didn't start when I was that young, you know. Actually, I was 18, and I wasn't successful until I was 26. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> Come, give me a hug. <laughs> you're hot and bothered. I know. <laughs> oh dear. Thank you're going to be fine. You're going to be fine. A lot of girls were coming downstairs. Like Charlotte came. I said she was crying. And I was like, what the hell was it? Like, I was really like scared, like, oh my god, like, is she telling us off? Is she beating them? Just the fact, just being here just makes me feel so happy because. Do you think you can win? Sometimes. I'm not gonna lie, I don't think I'm the best all the time, and that's what I said to her. That's honestly how I feel. I'd like to see the beauty that I see in front of me in your pictures. But it doesn't translate in your photos. There's a real kind of simple, total beauty in you that I think that we haven't seen probably because you've been trying too hard. It's so hard. For the next shoot, I'm going to try and relax, but I don't want my pitch to be rubbish. And I feel like when I'm relaxed, things can turn out to be rubbish. I naturally got a bit panicky and thought, oh my God, is she being mean? But they were like, no, she's so nice. It's actually overwhelming. You look beautiful. Oh, thank you. And you? Well, it's my job. You always, <laughs> always look beautiful. You know what's kind of fabulous about you is that you are exceptionally beautiful. That's so kind because I doubt myself so much. Look at yourself in the mirror a lot. You're so beautiful that no matter what you do, your beauty is going to be a huge asset. Like, I always thought it was more interesting for a girl to use her beauty rather than to sell her beauty. Mm. And that's why like, I wanted to be a lawyer and I thought, you know, I'm going to win all the cases because I have a charismatic ha character yeah, and do. people find me attractive and I, and I thought I can use that for me in other ways. I don't want to have to sell that. No. Yeah. Sitting down and having a little chat, it helped me think that even if I don't make it to a very end stage in the competition, it's all been so worthwhile.